All right, so this is called a dumbbell clean. So you're gonna lean forward, feel those hamstrings, and you're gonna jump up. There you go, and you're cleaning it. Good, lean forward. Like if your head is gonna touch the ceiling, jump. Right here, good, stand up, good. CrossFit 90 is gonna kick my butt today, and you're gonna be a witness of it. This is LATV Fan Nation, baby. What's up, people? Welcome to LATV Fan Nation. I'm your host, Noor, and today I am joined by CrossFit 90s co-owner Priscilla Estrada, Hello. who is kind enough to have us today. Priscilla, look at you. You're a powerhouse. You already own your own CrossFit gym. How did that happen? Well, um, it went back to about seven, eight years ago. My uncle actually is the one who introduced CrossFit to me, mm -hmm. fell in love with it. Uh, he actually originally started the business, and then mm -hmm. I partnered up with him a few years ago, and eventually I became the business owner, so yeah. Okay, so let's take a step back. He introduced you to CrossFit, but before that, were you physically active? Is that something that was a priority in your life? So, I mean, sports has mm -hmm. been part of my life. I cheered in high school, I played softball, volleyball, basketball. I was one of those niños mocosos running around <laughs> the, yeah. running around You're just the couldn't keep still. Yes. And it's a family business, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that. So once you started practicing CrossFit, was that love at first sight or did it gradually progress? So I was already into like yoga, I was running a lot, I was trying to find that one thing. And then when I was introduced to CrossFit, I, first of all, I couldn't even pick up weights for if my life depended on it because I was so focused on cardio and yoga and all this so it became an obsession wow. when I found things that I couldn't do mm -hmm. so to challenge yourself yeah to yes. challenge myself so now it's 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 definitely become a part of my life and it's great to see my family is involved and now my community, friends, family, so yeah, it's awesome. So do you still practice yoga and all those other sports or now you're focused primarily on CrossFit? Well, actually, I still continue to dance, so dance oh. is still part of my life, yeah. I'm actually part of a salsa team, so I love to dance salsa and bachata. Oh, you can yeah. dance salsa, I mean, bachata, I, merengue, the whole thing, I love that. I love fitness, but you know, dancing is always like my little getaway. Mm -hmm. What do you think was that spark that CrossFit brought to your life? Particularly, was it the weights? Was it the complexity of it? Was it the mixture of activities? I would probably have to say the community. Oh, yeah. There is a very strong community, community. with CrossFit. Yeah. yeah, you know, being Latina and, and growing up Latina and being surrounded by a big Mexican family mm -hmm. and now owning a business in the city that I grew up in and, and now seeing the local businesses and I'm, I'm able to see friends. You know, we get to, you, I see clients, I see friends multiple times a week, so it's pretty awesome. In terms of your body, was there a sudden change into how you looked after practicing CrossFit? Yeah, actually, so being, you know, uh, I got into yoga and then running a lot and I actually was about 20 pounds lighter than I'm standing right now. Right, because now it's muscle mass. Yeah, oh yeah, yes. and then now I, I mean like back then I thought it was in the best shape of my life, but now I'm just, I'm so happy, I'm comfortable, I, I feel healthy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there has been a lot of a lot of changes in the last eight years. But the best thing is I get to see my clients mm -hmm. change and go through the same thing that I went through. So you took you take the before and after pictures oh, yeah. and you compare. Because there is a mm -hmm. huge transformation. And before people were so scared of gaining weight or thinking that muscle wasn't good. And actually it's the best thing that can happen for you. Yes, especially the women. You know, we get women that come in and like, I don't want to look bulky and it and it's like, okay, are you a man? Yeah. No, you don't have You don't have to sauce yes. so take it down a notch. I know exactly. a lot of women that I know have shied away from CrossFit because of that. And not only CrossFit, just you know, overall weightlifting, weightlifting. Olympic weightlifting as well. Yeah. So it's good it's a good thing that you're clarifying that so yeah. people don't get so scared. Yeah. It's actually good to gain weight as long as it's muscle mass. I mean, who doesn't want a nice booty? Nice <laughs> booty? Yeah, that peach booty. I yes. love that. Had you not discovered CrossFit, what would you be doing now? I don't know, I'd probably be 
dancing somewhere, continuing dancing. But you would be um, physically active. Yeah, I would probably still be physically active. Uh, I always knew that I was going to be a business owner. I like to say I was raised an entrepreneur. You know, I'm first generation, and, and when my grandparents came here to the States, they had the American dream, started businesses. I actually got to grow up into these businesses. I, yeah. I grew, I, I started working at the swap meet at the age of 10. So I've always Look knew. Look at you, it's in your genes, <laughs> yeah. Priscilla. 10 years old, wow, yeah, nice. I, I, I like to say that I was raised an entrepreneur. So mm -hmm. I, I know that I would be out doing something, owning a business, something. And some people just have an act for it, regardless of mm -hmm. if they were raised or not. You just, I, I feel like you have it in you. Thank in you, your brain. thank you, I receive that. Yeah, I know. So right now we're gonna go on to a quick break, but when we come back, we'll talk about CrossFit 90, this beautiful yeah. gym located in the San Fernando Valley. Where can we find you on social media, by the way? You can find me at Pris underscore loves you. Mm -hmm. And then did you want CrossFit, CrossFit 90, as, 90 well? as well? So CrossFit, CrossFit underscore 90 on Instagram. We are the new kings winning this fight tonight with our name. I love the fact, as I mentioned, that this is a family-owned business. Mm -hmm. Your family, were they raised here in the States or in Mexico? So my parents were born in Mexico. Ooh. I'm first generation. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, my grandparents came with the American dream, started businesses. My grandmother started a, a manufacturing company and helped she had over a hundred workers at one point, almost. Yeah, that's so where you got it. You got it from your grandma. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Actually, it was down the street, not too far from here. So really? you know, we we grew up here in San Fernando, and it's such a blessing to now own my own business here and where I was born and raised. And being in a Latino-based community, helping you know the the community with their health and mm -hmm. fitness. It's really, really, really rewarding. You're impacting in such a positive way, and I love that. I Thank love you. how businesses can really contribute to society and their general well-being, especially in the States. We need that. We need that yeah. health consciousness. So we do. Props to you for that. Thank you. CrossFit 90. What's up with the 90? What does that mean? So 90, actually, when we first opened up the gym, we used to do 90-day challenges. Ooh. So that's how they knew us as. And you know, they, we were known as the 90 Day Fitness Center and then mm -hmm. we, we, a year later, became affiliated through CrossFit Inc. Mm -hmm. And then we became a CrossFit gym. You know, we were your regular global gym wow. where we had, um, you know, machines everywhere. And then we started doing classes and little by little just started creating more and more room and mm -hmm. it just, it became a thing, I guess you can say. But. Yeah, and CrossFit has become such a thing. As of 2019, there's 15,000 affiliates yeah. in over 150 countries. Yeah. CrossFit actually was created in California. The first gym was in mm -hmm. Santa Cruz by Greg Glassman. Have you met Greg, by Greg the way? Greg Glassman, yeah. I met him actually a few years back at a, at a CrossFit Games event. So it was mm -hmm. pretty awesome. Yeah, it, unfortunately the games aren't here in California anymore, right, but right. it's pretty awesome to see it being, you know, global. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So here, for people that are maybe in the LA area, are you open seven days a week? What kind of classes do you offer? So we are open six days a week, and then we have open gym on Sundays. Perfect. So yeah, yeah. Pretty, Pretty much 24 seven. <laughs> <laughs> and we are just classes. We are classes. Mm -hmm. That's our environment. That's our thing. That's our niche. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, you know, we don't have time to just spend hours at the gym just wasting our time so not only yeah. that but the patients too because i mean it is a it is a commitment it is you know we have parents yeah. working parents who mm -hmm. don't have time for that so i know and you want to get it out of the way i know i know i do i only focus on how i'm going to feel afterwards not yes. so much during so if it's if it's a shorter workout that work that is actually yeah. better so you have hour long workouts and then half hour we workouts. also have 30 minute workouts yes so what are cross the so crossfit is our you know, it's our thing. Your niche. niche. Our niche, yes. Yes. We also have, um, you know, specialty classes like Olympic weightlifting. We offer yoga a couple times a month. We have a cardio boxing class. We actually also recently launched a strong program. So it's, we're, 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 we're growing little by little. Yeah, we want more variety for people. I think that's great speed. And that's what I love about CrossFit is that it's an integral fitness mm -hmm. program because yes. you are focused on the neurological aspect of it and then the physical as well. And yes. you guys combine plyometrics, calisthenics, Olympic, Olympic weightlifting, cardio, cardio, yeah. the whole thing. And that avoids you from plateauing because mm -hmm. that usually happens when you're in that same routine. Exactly. So what you guys offer is crucial because you're mixing it up and that way we're never going to get tired of it. Exactly. So our goal is not to adapt. Not to adapt, but yes. to always be out of our comfort zone yes. and to always 
shock our body in a good way. Yes, exactly. I love that. So how many people are usually in your class? Is it a big class or maybe a little bit it, smaller? It, it can range like a, an average up to 10, um, 15 a class, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. a good uh, day. Our holidays are pretty awesome, like on Thanksgiving, Christmas. Of course, they need to burn we, off we, that we, food. It's so cool because all of the classes get to come together and nice. we do team workouts. Those are always my favorite. The, the team workouts, because mm -hmm. you got that energy, that mm -hmm. support going on. Exactly. That's awesome. And what another thing that I want to mention about CrossFit is that you can adapt because people come with all kinds of capabilities and age ranges. Exactly. So, so you the, can modify every yes. workout. That's the the per bad perception about CrossFit because right. of what people see on television, what they've seen. You know, CrossFit's come a long way in mm -hmm. over a little over ten years. Yeah. Um, if you find a really good CrossFit gym that takes the time to work with you, you know, we go over a program. But if uh, we we are able to scale it down to everyone's needs and levels, so we offer a three day intro class. Oh, yeah, you can get and fully prepped. Yes, exactly. We really take the time to assess you and work with you, get to know you. Uh, it's, we're really adamant on breaking down the movements for everyone. So much talk about CrossFit is getting me hyped, which is weird because it's a workout and I know it's gonna be grueling and I know you're not gonna be easy on me, but It'll be I fun. can't wait. I know it's gonna be fun. Are you following us on social media? Please feel free to do so. Check our website, latv.com. And we're also Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We're everywhere. Follow us on LATV Network. Jeez, this is our time.